Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter News this Friday. Today we have the topics, the results of the latest Flutter survey, pub.dev update, then we have also the newest creations of Flutter desktop and last but not least we have the package and the Flutter pen of the last two weeks. So we have a lot to talk about today, so sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee and if you think we have also deserved a cup of coffee for our work it would be fantastic if you could go down in the video description below to the link flutterexplained.life and could support our work. Thank you already in advance and now let's get started. Learning from Flutter Q2 survey. Ya Jung Lee, a UX researcher at Google announced in her latest Medium article the newest metrics of the Flutter Survey 2020 Q2. You can find the newest metrics like the Flutter adoptions for work, how the Flutter framework comes into the workplace and interesting enough it is mostly generated by a positive experience at home and translate into a work exploration. The Flutter satisfaction is at an all-time high with 57% very satisfied and there are some statistics how Flutter developers find their code samples. And he, the most people find their code samples in GitHub on Stack Overflow, but what we are very proud of is that 10% of Flutter developers find their code samples here on YouTube. Additionally, you can find newest statistics regarding to performance and last but not least, why packages are getting created. All in all, over 7,800 people participated in the survey. And if you have not been participating in the survey, you will find a link down in the video description below where you can register for the next survey that will take place. So your opinion is also getting collected. And also the link to the Medium article you can find down in the video description below. Update of pub.dev. You have most likely already seen it, but pub.dev got a real overhaul where everything has been recreated. And now it has a fantastic user experience and a fantastic new design. Additionally, the point system for each package has changed. Now it is possible to achieve 110 points per package if you also support the web. So that means you support all three platforms, iOS, Android and the web. But there is currently also a downside, because it seems that sometimes relevant packages are not on top of the list. But we are sure that the Flutter team and the Dart team is already aware of the problem and working on it. New Flutter creations. The last two weeks, a lot of desktop applications have made a fantastic upcoming and I don't want to miss them out and want to share my experience with them and what I've saw so far. The first one on the list is ZOS, macOS Application Manager or Launcher. The cool program is created by Cesaro Homa. It shows the real power of Flutter and what you can do with it is on macOS you can drag and drop all the applications that you want to start up into the application of Flutter and with a double click in the application you can start it up. The cool thing of it is it's open source MIT license, so if you want to learn something about it, you will find the links down in the video description below. Wilson Wilson created a mesmerizing redesign of YouTube for desktop applications and made it available in Flutter Desktop. So the best thing is, again, it is completely open source and if you want to learn something down in the video description, you will find the link to the result. The Twitter desktop redesign. Eleandro Ducentos created this fantastic Twitter redesign in a desktop variant and also here it is completely open source. You can learn a lot from it. So you find down in the video description the link. Our Flutter pen of the week is from Sandeep Sing. He created a fantastic UI to develop a description for the different Flutter layouts. We loved the most the usage of the implicit animation of animated container and animated opacity. Additionally, he created a responsive layout that made his row to a column. So with that, it is possible to have it also on smaller screen sizes. This solution was part of the Flutter layout challenge and if you want to be part of the CodePen challenge next, uh, this week and next week, I highly recommend you to go down in the video description below and check out the links. Auto search. 
The auto search package delivers you the possibility to make every text form field to a search field. Fantastic on that is that you can get predefined values and if you select one of them, you select this value for your text field. This is additionally helpful if you really want to have this auto search and replace possibility. And it, we loved it the most because it is super flexible, easy to use and ready to go. And now if you want to also use that powerful package, you will find down in the video description below the link to the package and the repository. These are all the news for the last two weeks. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you want to see more of this content. And thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great week. See ya.